Thanks for stopping by again. We're out with the air rifle again. Some squirrel pest control off a peanut feeder. And as always, the warning. So, pest control with air rifles, squirrel pest control on this video. If you're not happy to watch that, then you can click off now. So, get set up with the with the hood. And before I can even set up and get the gun and the sticks set up, this fella comes in. So I'm kind of moving about a bit, trying to get the camera and the gun and everything. And I think he cops me because he makes a swift exit and clears off. So I get myself comfortable and get the hide sorted out properly. And this fella appears not long after the first fella goes. And I managed to take him off the top of the feeder. So a short while later we get another squirrel come in didn't get the camera on quick enough came came in like a steam train as they say got up onto the top of the feeder and is having a good look around now he looks to be frozen in that position and you're probably thinking that's a great chance for a headshot there I'm looking through the scope and I can see his nose is twitching there's subtle movements, you can see his hands moving there. So I'm kind of thinking to myself, I'm waiting for him to move, I know he's about to move just as he did. But that's why I tried to zoom in with the camera just to give an idea of what I was seeing on the scope. But he moves down to the side shelf to feed, which is perfect. That's a, a perfect sign on profile for the headshot between the, between the ear and the eye your crosshairs on take a shot but what I've forgotten to do is reload the magazine so when I sat down in the hood and the first squirrel came along I jumped in I sat down got the camera on picked up my gun picked up my magazine without realizing that I had only got one pellet in it or two pellets um, and took another test shot before this so I only had one pellet left in it without checking the magazine so I'm here now trying to load the magazine so a note to self I'm going to bought myself a second magazine which I'm going to keep loaded and in my pocket and that's a good thing I always do before I take a few shots um, I fired about I fired a good few shots at, at targets before this I set up here and um, then when I got into position I took another test shot just to make sure so that's why I'm, I was down I only had one pellet in the magazine so I eventually get it loaded up but I can think I don't know whether the squirrel could hear me clicking it on and I was loud on the camera but I don't think he did um, I'm nearly positive there might have been another squirrel in the area so I'm kind of having a look around to see if I can find where he's gone load the gun get the gun up on the sticks get the scope cam on and ready um, so I'm not, I'm kind of looking to see where that squirrel is. And he's above the feeder up there. So I'm sitting up, um, on alert, looking around. I didn't get a chance to get the camera up on him. But you see him jumping down there to one side. So we zoom back out. Go down to have a look for him. And he's on the floor. And he runs back up and goes to the top of the feeder. So something has scared him, whether it's another squirrel or whether it's... There is a couple of buzzers in the area here. So I managed to get the scope cam on, off centre a little bit. But he sits up for the shot. So still I zoom in with the camera. Take the shot for some reason. And apologies, the sound is a bit off or a bit behind. And I managed to take him. Well, another little wait, and this squirrel comes in. And he, as you can see straight away, he's coming in from behind the feeder um, in a direct line. It stops a couple of feet away from up the first tree and is shaking his tail and very agitated. I do know that this feeder was, at the time of shooting it, has been, was being 
heavily hit with squirrels. So this lad could have had a fight with other ones coming on. So he's seen these ones on the floor and he's not sure whether he wants to come in or not. And he's probably wondering why they're lying on the floor and not doing anything. So he's giving a good few squeaks. Now there could be another squirrel or two up in the trees there that I haven't seen yet. Um, this isn't long after the other squirrel that was on it feeding who jumped down from the oak, from the top of the feeder onto the floor. Like as if he had been shot or something. So if you can see, look out the back there, bottom right hand corner. I thought I seen another squirrel moving there. But um, it could be in a magpie or something like that. But this this squirrel is not really comfortable with the area. Uh, there might, as I said, there might be more up in the trees that I just can't see. Um, but there's definitely the, the ones on the floor are putting them off. So he comes down. Um, and has a look at the ones on the floor. No, back up. I'll go on top. The feeder and have a look and see what's going on. And as you can see from the movement of the head and the movement of the body, there's no way you could take a shot when he's like this. Um, so he's a good bit of tail shaking. Looks like a a younger squirrel. He's probably been bullied off this one a couple of times. You can see the damage they've done the top of the feeder and at the side of the side the feeding shelf there I've had to replace that in the front I've had to put a bit of pair specs on it. Um they've chewed all the way through it so that's this one will be replaced. I think an all metal one would be ideal. As you couldn't through through chew through that but as I don't have any spare metal and I won't be making one. I just make most of these feeders out of spare bits of plywood or wood that I have lying about. And put the side shelf on them as is, is that for the for the shooting. I am using an FAC Huntsman Classic. Um, I think it, it's probably about 25 26 foot pound. Um, but you still need to place the pellet properly for a headshot. Um, don't take body shots on the squirrels. I want, as I said in other videos, I want a, a good, quick, clean kill. And having a headshot is the perfect way to do it. In order to have a headshot in a squirrel, you need them in, a, in their feeding pattern or feeding on peanuts or wheat or whatever so that you can predict their head movement so that you can take the shot. So this lad is still having a look around and I'm kind of thinking to myself that I'll just get as much footage of him as I can because um, he's going to take off or she's going to take off, he or she. Um, because of, uh, when I, I thought there when I got onto the side shelf there that I was going to go for the peanuts but still not happy so it comes down and has a, a last sniff at them to see nothing happening there but the hunger must be getting the better of this one and thinks that he'll come up for a peanut goes up on top and having a good look make sure nothing nothing is moving and comes down and gets a peanut and sitting up nice and comfortably there. So I get the scope cam on, line it up on him, and just as I pull the trigger, this happens. That squirrel was going up to the top of the feeder to have another look down. What I should have done there was waited, and I didn't, and that's a lesson learned. Now, that was that squirrel was body shot just under the front arm into the chest, the heart and lung area. And as you can see, it ran off the, just to the back of the feeder. At this point, I'm thinking about getting out of hide and going after. I can see it there better. I move slightly, and I can. I'm taking a headshot there, which is much better. Your first instinct is to jump out of the hide and run after it. But take if you take a little bit of a split second just to see where the squirrel has gone. But the squirrel that size can run off under something, and you lose sight of it, then you can't shoot it. So I took the split second or two just to watch where it was going, in case I had to get out and finish it off. And luckily from where I was sitting, quite quickly, as you saw, I presented a headshot and I took it. I did go out and check and make sure it was dead and it was stone, stone dead. So that's why I don't take body shots. Because that was hard hit from an FAC Huntsman Classic at 25, 26 foot pounds. 
I'm only 15 yards away um, and as you saw it managed to make its way to the back of the feeder and definitely wasn't dead and that's not what I want you want good you want clean kills so I suppose anyone asking or posing the question why I don't take body shots that's it in, in a nutshell but sometimes with this happens you know I'd say down to my impatience I should have waited a little bit longer and I will the next time when I squirrel like that so you have to learn these things that's all part of shooting but being responsible and finishing up if you've shot something to make sure that you do kill it as quickly after you've made a mistake so this one comes down and that's in a nice feeding pattern um, and I'm watching him and his body language is saying he's going to hang around and it's something I've learned from shooting squirrels off the feeder and I'm watching other YouTube channels um, get the scope cam on, line it up and you can see when you look through the scope that he was nearly finished the pe peanut so he's going to take another one he's going to be there for a couple of seconds and you can line up on it um, as he turned to the left a little bit there crosshair just between the eye and the ear always thinking of where your pellet is of the track of the pellet is going to go through um, and adjust your angle accordingly so that one went straight in through the brain and down he came was great. So this one came up, comes along. I saw him from from a good way out. I followed him in, but uh, I couldn't get the camera on until he got a bit closer. He's and he's another uh, fidgety one. He's not too sure, not too happy about what's going on. So we might be in for a bit of a waiting game here. Depends how hungry he is. He hops down into the trees, and something that always amazes me how agile these creatures are, and how quick their movements are. He goes off to have a bit of a look around. Makes his way to the right and left, and having a good, good rummage around on the floor. And what I suspect is happening is there's peanuts scattered probably all over the place from squirrels eating off it, a lot of, some of them falling onto the floor but if there's two or three squirrels here and one wants to shove another one off it <coughs> when it goes up to attack the other one the other one runs or scarpers pretty quickly might spread some peanuts about and then they're all over on the floor so that's what I'm thinking, there's there's peanuts buried under the tree, under the, the dead leaves there that are on the, on the ground and that's what they're rummaging around about looking for and probably whatever else they're eating so he moves off to the right into an opening where I can get the scope cam on I have a pretty good idea he's not going to come near give him a bit of a squeak he sits up perfectly and I take the shot the headshot and that's the kind of reaction that you're looking for and get the other camera around onto him now and he is that's a good clean kill down he goes and you can see there and we get another chap comes in not long after that and I found this in this session I sat down and they were on it I was a little bit late getting to it maybe 30-40 minutes later than I would have liked to be in there um, and literally as I sat in the hide one came to the defeater as you saw and most of them came pretty quick after it and for maybe an hour or two they came, they came and then all of a sudden they just stopped and that was it so this one comes in for peanut and feeding not too apprehensive sitting up I managed to get the scope cam on place the crosshairs there and take a nice clean kill and drops down a little bit of movement and some kicking which is your typical headshot movement so you can see some blood there at the top of the head which is see him jumping and kicking and 
which we've seen in loads of different videos that we that's up on, on on YouTube when you have a squirrel that's headshot they act like that which is what you want to see and what you're looking for is that if the any kind of breeding and um, one of the good things about having the camcorder is you can zoom right in on them and have a look and see if they're breeding or not which is great uh, this, other, this lad comes in and has a sniff of the ones on the floor and the one there that he sniffed at first must be the one that they're all afraid of because the the couple that came in they were a bit nervous came down and sniffed that one and only that one and then made up their mind that yeah, okay he's not going to attack us for some reason so we can have a feed so I don't have the scope cam for this one as the battery and the camera died but he's come up for a feed and we're hoping he's gone, I'm going to get a, a shot on him has a bit of a scratch also go to the back of the feeder I'm expecting him to pop up there at the top and I see him on the right there coming around and what I didn't realise at the time was one well, of the squirrels have chewed a big hole in the back of it and they got into the feeder that way and they managed to get a couple of peanuts out of it but in the feeder itself I have a shooting from the top of it there where I didn't have the scope cam I have a, a shelf so uh, it directs the peanuts to the, the hole out the front so they weren't able to get in and that's why none of the peanuts spilled out because when you, from where they get the hole in there's basically just a hollow so that was it so the time of the year was just before the board started nesting and I caught this little fella coming down and getting some four off the squirrel for his nesting material it always amazes me how the wildlife around the area will catch on to things quickly those squirrels are there an hour an hour and a half my hide is there just the pop up hide and the birds have no problem coming down they're obviously coming down to feed here in the peanuts which I don't mind I think it's great I, I, while waiting for squirrels you often see a lot of wildlife um, and have done loads of footage and loads of films on it and it's great to see them coming down so that, that bird was in taking advantage of every situation and it's great to see So that's the few that I finished up with for the morning as I said it went pretty slack for a while and I could have stayed out a little bit longer and maybe got a few more but I topped the feeder up and left them top the feeder up and, and leave it for another day come back and maybe get some more so that's the one that I squeaked at and I stood up and managed to shoot it that one there is actually it I was pleased with that so that's where I'm shooting for from there's this squirrel feeder and there's the pop up hide the camera tripod fantastic piece of kit I have to it's a two man so there's a bit of room in it and a built in chair so it's absolutely brilliant well, thanks again for watching I hope to have a few more up very soon don't forget to hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video thanks very much